Hey YouTube, welcome back. And this is an update to the B36 communications truck. I feel like I owe my WPO guys an update on the truck. I wasn't going to make this video, but I feel it important to do so and share with you guys what I've gotten done so far and where I'm at with it and what I still have to do. So, I've been adding lights and sound. <clears throat> couple of interesting interesting things that I've done was relocated the servos to the bottom took it out of the top all the electronics they're going to be relocated as well so I did something interesting because I got the uh, container light container kit but it only came with one sound I didn't pay attention to that but I hope it's a good sound but it's a good lighting system and a vibration system, so we're gonna give it a whirl. Alright, so I put the vibrating motor up under the hood along with the speaker <clears throat> for weight distribution. Some of you guys don't like using the vibration motor, but I figured it would be kind of cool. Let's give it a whirl, see what happens. Might vibrate the hell out of it. <laughs> I might. Put something smaller in there or something or do without it. We'll see when I get there. So I've changed out all the lights. Instead of using clear lenses, I bought colored lenses so that I could keep the look. Keep the look. These are five millimeter. They fit in them holes just perfect. And I put three millimeter on the bumpers, fenders, and on the front as well. And added a couple extras up front because I wanted two constant orange running lights instead of just blinkers that wouldn't be on and unless I was to use the blinkers. So there we're at with that. Still got a ton of soldering to do as you can see. The next thing I need to do is make me a rear bumper because instead of two lights on each side I need four lights on each side so I'm gonna cut me a piece out of this right here make me a bumper anyways and screw it into the two little holes here that should work out fine so that's about where I'm at with that and I got another rare find I'd like to share with you guys this lady right here that's my rare find without this lady I probably wouldn't be a quarter of the way where I'm at in this hobby room right now she's been a great woman she helps me with all the bills and everything she's my best friend and she's just been the most unique person in my life I love her so much, and I don't, don't know what I would do without her. And she sure is beautiful. Love that face. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't be a quarter of the way of where I'm at. And I'm just getting started. I would go that way. Oh, almost let the cat out of the bag on that end. So I think I'll go ahead and share the add-on addition to the hobby room. Just a couple more things I need to do. Nah, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait on that one. I wanna make sure it's done. But anywho, got to mention, there's also a dome light in there. I added that. So, this is all I wanted to share for you guys and my other rare find very unique rare find and we'll see what happens when I get the rear bumper done and get the other stuff mounted and get the back back on there's a couple things I would like to do with this here I 
things I got in mind. I'd like to make this to be able to rock go straight up and down. As soon as I get some kind of mechanism worked out for that. And I'd like to add a small radar disc it turns around up here too. I think that would be cool. And there would be a, some work on the inside as well. And other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. And definitely going to take my time with this. After all, this is my first build. After watching tons of videos... You see more and more and the things that people do with them and I'm really quite enjoying it. It's really cool. From the metal upgrades, getting rid of all the plastic metal upgrades and adding the lights and the sound and the vibration. <clears throat> I'm also considering adding, adding a, a smoke machine. I haven't bought one yet, but, the, but it's bookmarked. So many stuff bookmarked, so much stuff to get. Another reason it's taken me so long was my tires. You buy the dually tires, the whole set, but you get the crawler tires instead. You don't get the DACA tires. I actually had to buy these tires separate, but I only got seven of them, unfortunately. So I'm still going to have to break down and buy another seven for 60 bucks, which kind of sucks. Shouldn't cost that much for them tires. <clears throat> Still owe you guys a video on how to make skinnier tires and what to use just step by step. But they worked real good on the dualies. I had two sets of dualies coming, one set did not come. So I've even considered maybe even using these. They're not really bad. It's got the original tires. And I may use these for my semi-conversion on my other army truck. Because it's going to pull a trailer. So that I can put my tank on. Which I have not done a video of yet. And... I'm going to let you guys go with that. And here's my update. And things I want to do with the B36 year out truck and have a good one man take care thanks for watching